Hi, this is Dino, and I want to walk you through creating an API proxy that connects to a SOAP backend service without using the WSDL import wizard. So here I have a website that is providing me some information about a SOAP service. Um, there's the endpoint and a WSDL document, um, and it's a real SOAP service. Uh, here's how to use it. There's a bunch of data there, and um, we also have some examples of how to invoke it. Um, for example, if I want to uh, find books by title, I can put in something like um, books that have the word tr truth in it, and I'll see uh, a SOAP response that comes back from that system. So this is out running on the uh, network, and it's available, uh, and it is uh, accessible at uh, this endpoint. All right, so what we're going to do is manually construct uh, SOAP payloads to send to that service uh, using Apigee Edge. So let's start by creating an API proxy. We'll just say it's a reverse proxy. We're not going to import a WSDL, and we're going to call this the library service. And the endpoint, uh, we've already got that. Um, so uh, let's continue on the next step. We're just going to avoid the security stuff because we're not interested in that uh, for this particular demonstration and we will uh, create that proxy. I'm not deploying it to any environment yet. It's just a blank pass-through proxy that connects into that backend service. So what do we need to do? What I'd like to do is add a couple of endpoints. First is the uh, search by title. And uh, what that's going to do is allow me to uh, get books by title. And the path will be title. Uh, with a, another element in there. So we'll add that as a, as a flow, and then I'll add another one, which is similar. It's basically get books, uh, we'll just call it author, and the description is get books by author. Works the same way as title, um, except the path will be a little bit different, and we use um, that asterisk to indicate there is a, an extra path element after the term uh, author. All right, so we've got those. Now the whole goal is I want to extract a field from the URL or the URI path and insert it into the SOAP payload. Going back to the documentation, if I want to find by title, I need to pass in something that looks like this to the service where this thing is going to be extracted from the URI path, this word. So uh, first thing we need to do, flipping back into Apigee Edge, is add in an extract variables policy. So we're going to extract from the URI path. And I happen to have uh, a pre-baked extract variables configuration, which I'll just drop in here. And I'll show you what this is doing. It's looking for um, URI path of slash title slash something. And using this syntax, the extract variables is going to populate a variable, a context variable called uh, URI element dot uh, whatever's in this curly brace, which is title. So the thing that I pass on the URL uh, will be put into a context variable. We're going to do the same thing with the author uh, flow. So let's let's add another extract variables. And we have the pre-baked extract variables configuration there um, and so I'll drop that in so it works exactly the same way. Once we have the variable populated I'm going to now want to assign the message uh, which contains the SOAP payload so I'm going to add an assign message policy and I have that one pre-baked as well and this um, is just going to set a SOAP envelope uh, an empty header because it's a very simple SOAP service. It doesn't require any headers. The body and then the SOAP payload. And inside that SOAP payload, I have this variable um, replacement. The URI element dot title, the thing that we extracted from the previous step, is going to be dropped in here in the um, SOAP payload. We're also setting that it's going to be a post because all SOAP uh, requests are posts in this endpoint and uh, we're setting the content type. So that's all done in that assigned message policy. And we're going to do something similar in the author flow. So another assigned message policy. And we have the pre-baked thing, which looks exactly like the title uh, payload. 
but we're doing find entries by author. That's the SOAP author, uh, operation, and then it needs this element, and it's pulling out the other um, uh, context variable. All right, so what we've done is extracted from the URI path, and we've populated a SOAP payload uh, with the value from that URI path. And um, let's see, what else do I want to do? I want to make sure that uh, by default, AppG does not pass in the uh, URI path uh, on my GET request into the SOAP backend service. Now, by default, AppG will do that. So what I want to do is turn that off. So in the uh, preflow for the request preflow for the target, I'm going to use another assign message policy, a very simple one that merely turns off that uh, behavior. Um, set target copy path suffix to false. So now we are, we're just going to get that bare uh, URL. It's always going to be there rather than appending to this URL the, the path that is passed into the Apogee Edge proxy. One final thing I would like to do in the proxy, and that is convert the, the XML that is coming back in the response to JSON. So I'm just going to add a step here and add in uh, XML to JSON. So whatever we're getting back from that SOAP service, we're going to convert to JSON, and I'll just leave this the default. Uh, and all that, I think, looks good. So we have now created a REST to SOAP proxy that points to an existing library SOAP service uh, and converts URI path elements to elements that will be placed into the SOAP body. And I've done that without uh, writing code, but I do have some configuration of the extract variables and the assigned message policies. I've now deployed that, and we should be able to get this to, to run uh, by uh, invoking uh, curl commands. So here's the curl command that I'll run, and um, I'll just drop it in this window, and you should see the invocation of the... Um, of the, sorry, this is the direct library SOAP service. Um, we're passing in the payload um, find entries by author Smith. Uh, so that is the bare uh, SOAP service. But what if, what if we tried the endpoint that I just created? So it's DC test. It's running on apg.net. The base path is library. And we're looking for, let's say, author. And we'll put in Smith. So simple as that, there's no payload. And what do you know, I'm getting back that, um, those titles, find entries by author for um, any author named, uh, with a name Smith. And you can see that it actually is a JSON representation of a SOAP envelope that uh, has been returned by this API proxy. And if I wanna try something similar with, uh, let's say title, uh, I'll put in uh, bound, and uh, that should give me this same title, uh, the sharply bound tiers. I don't know what else we've got in there. Truth, maybe. Um, so there's another one. And then we could probably look in author Anna. And uh, we should get a response there. There's a couple of different Anna or Annas in the author database. Um, one, which is this one, and this one. So what you have seen now is me producing and uh, an Apogee Edge API proxy that connects to a backend SOAP service without using the WSDL import, without using um, anything related to the WSDL, um, but uh, using my knowledge of what the payloads look like and just populating those manually and filling in variable uh, fields into those payloads. Uh, that's it.